Okay, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Episode 2 of Humor Smoke. Spoiler alert. Uh, well, not ready, but backstage stuff, I guess. We are recording this after we just literally did Raw Episode 1. I still haven't uploaded that yet at the time of me recording this. So we're going to do Raw and some stars. Two for one. And then they shall be uploaded separately. Same like the simulated universe mode stuff. So anyway, continuing off superstars, I mean numerous mode, we are going to superstars now. Of course, uh, if we go over here, we go to, I mean, if we go over here and we go to schedule, and then we do this, in which we can no longer see the match card. Well, you guys get the idea. Anyway, basically what happened was, Evan Bourne defeated Sheamus in the Falls Count Anywhere matchup. It was non-title. Um, I thought it was for the nice exchange because he said, Will you like to cash in our true smiling event contract? Um, because I thought it would be for the nice exchange because the way the wording had it, it said for this United States Championship matchup or something like that. Uh, so, yeah, I thought it was one, but it wasn't. So, yeah, anyway, Randy Orton and Primo simulate. No one cares. Squash match. Pri <laughs> Primo has defeated the WWE Champion. That's great. Edge, Edge defeated Rand when we simulated the first match for Raw was Edge and Randy Orton, and Edge won. And now on Superstars, here Primo has defeated Randy Orton. Primo has defeated the WWE Champion. Yeah, I, I mean Triple H and Sheamus. This should be the main event, so we should actually watch it. No, we're not gonna do two episodes in which we watch Sheamus. No, Triple H defeats Sheamus. Sheamus on the losing streak here, and now our truth and Edge. No, definitely not. That is a mismatch. That is a mismatch. If I ever saw one, that should not be a matchup ever. Not even on superstars. It's just their wrestling styles won't bring up a good matchup if you ask me. Alright, so which is why we can do Ray and Sigur. And now we can actually, you know, fully edit this. It's Ray and Sigur. Yes. And also because SmackDown does have a matchup, which is why we're using SmackDown superstars. Of course, we tried to do this in the last episode of Raw. And you know, we, we just like stopped it because reasons. So now, will this, I just want to know, will this save or will this immediately play the matchup? This immediately plays the matchup. Got. I guess, unless, of course, if we like, you know, like, whatever. And by whatever, I mean, um, hang on here. By doing where I just mean, <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, like, exiting out of the matchup. Like, the matchup starts, and then we quit the matchup, and then sure, it should already be on the match card. I think that also works. But yeah. Anyway, Rey Mysterio. Here, tonight. On Superstars. Yeah, I can skip Rey's entrance. We can probably watch all of Ziggler's entrance, just because Ziggler's awesome. And because I want to watch Ziggler's entrance. But this is back when he had the I Am Perfection theme song. It's better than his current one. The current one is good. Like, he's been having the current one for a couple of years. It, it, I believe it's had different versions, same like the old theme song, but the I Am Perfection one, and that taunt, is awesome. Seriously, I love that taunt. That whole, that whole gimmick taunt right there is awesome. Hopefully Sigler wins, and yes, I'm being biased towards Sigler. Now, we are letting the CPU win this, we are letting the CPU play this matchup, but hopefully the CPU wins with Sigler. And hopefully, the CPU books Sigler in the match, in the, in I guess, in the spot in which he could win the world title. Or, of course, you know, he's already going to perhaps be in Carnival Champion in the Zoomers mode, because CPU loves that. Well, because he is in the car. Well, we are going to change up the rosters, so, like, midway through the Zoomers mode. So, at the six-month mark, midway through, at the six-month mark, we are going to mix up the rosters, switch some from Raw to SmackDown. And from SmackDown to Raw, tag teams are going to get split up, and... The, and the woman is going to, you know, since there's only eight women in the game, that's going to be difficult. Because since there's only eight women in the game, there, there originally was, I don't know, well, there originally was, there originally was five women in the Raw roster and three in the, in the SmackDown roster. So I had to switch Alicia Fox from Raw to SmackDown to make it four for SmackDown and four for Raw. So for the woman, we're not going to switch up all that much. I mean, we are, but if it ends up being, like, an uneven number of women... For example, like, let's say 6 on Raw or 2 on SmackDown. Then, yeah, we're definitely not going to do that. We're going to, like, switch up 4-4. Four, four. There's something like different women making it 4-4, four, four, stuff like that. If it comes to that, ultimately. But that that's when we get to the uh, halfway mark of Junior Smart before Hania. So that's the only time for now. And then now Ray, Shinlock here. 2 Ziggler. Uh, this is very effective. I just noticed. We just had 
well, we're having like matches with like you know the, the cruiserweights and stuff. Evan Bourne defeated Sheamus, so that means Ray's gonna probably defeat Ziggler, but I don't want him to defeat Ziggler. Of course, I'd like I like both Ray and Ziggler, but I like Ziggler better. So, I want Ziggler to win. And now Ray rebounding and just a kick. I think that was a knee as well. And now, okay, what a light drop. Okay, that was beautiful. Now, on the down is Ziggler. Ziggler with a close line. Nicely done. To Ray Mysterio here on Superstars. Smackdown is main event Superstars because Raw had to hog up the card. And now, off the ropes goes Ray. And Ziggler has him up. German suplex. Poor Ray Mysterio being bent in half. This is why Ziggler is perfection. And now, Fireman's carry. Ziggler, Justin. Uh, I was about to say Randy, but no. Ray back up. Okay, what kind of move? Okay. I don't know what that is, but that was effective, and that was cool. Ziggler now elbow to the back of the head. Ziggler. The CPU is doing the exactly what I wanted to do, and that's to win the matchup with Ziggler. Uh, although, if, if Ray wins, I won't be mad. But I'd rather the outcome be Sigger, but whatever. But I feel like in real life, the accurate outcome will actually be Ray. Sigger Ray has a finisher. Six Sag and Famous Sir. Uh, of course, the uh, what? Famous Sir? This is Sigger. Wait, or is this when he had a secret hold? This is back when Sigger still had a secret hold, wasn't it? Alright, and he also did the Snapmare, and he also did like the multiple other drops. So the, that Snapmare was a signature. Was this back when he had the secret hold as his finisher? I'm not sure if it was. He's gonna have to do it on Ray, and Ray's gonna have to not. Be reversing the CPU here. Come on, CPU, do a proper spot. Sigger is the center, he's supposed to do the center. And now Ray trying to keep Sigger down on the ground here. And now Sigger's lost his venture. I don't even really know how that's effective. It's just stomping down the foot to the ground. It's, make, it's making the superstar stomp the foot. Drop kick by Sigger. Sigger has so many centers. He has drop kicks, he has those other drops. Uh, famous sir. I guess in the sleep hold. If the sleep hold is not his finisher in the game, then it's definitely, you know, of course, uh, Zigzag, that would be his finisher. But, yeah, sleep hold definitely is. Okay, uh, that went up. Oh, yeah. I think, yeah, the sleep hold is definitely his finisher. Because why would the snapmare be his signature? Yeah, finisher is definitely the sleep hold. And now Sigler, waiting for. Okay, Ray is Ray back up. And now. Over the ropes goes Ray on to the outside. Goes Ray Mysterio Sigler now taunting Ray. Damn, what a heel. And Ray, oh, he's not standing for that. Only a one count. And Ray, he's pissed. He's pissed. And he's he, he's missing stuff. And this is getting confusing. Okay, Ray the upper hand. Bulldog. Ray Mysterio not playing games here. He's out here to just prove a point against Sigler. Sigler just taunting him. And now Ray, he's not, handed, he's not having none. And now Ray misses the chop. Okay, now Mahin's gonna have some of that. The Sigler has a signature once again. Ray, he had a couple of good spots in the matchup, so Sigler's not gonna fully bury him. He's not gonna fully squash him in this matchup because he, Sigler, um, Ray just got pushed a little bit in the matchup. Sigler wins, of course, he gets made a push. And now this has snap there. Nicely done by Sigler, and now uh, sleeper hold, I would guess. Yep, sleeper hold. To Rey Mysterio, to the tiny Rey Mysterio, the referee. I don't know how he could see this. He's staring down at Rey Mysterio's feet. And Rey has tapped out. I don't know how that works. The referee, first the referee sees Evan Bourne pinning Sheamus in front of the steel steps. The referee is like on the other side of the, of the ring apron. And he sees it through the ring post and through the steel steps on the outside. He sees that Sheamus' shoulders were down on the ropes, I mean down on the ground. And now he just sees that Ray tapped out. He probably just felt the breeze of Ray tapping. And he just assumed, hey, Ray's tapping out while staring at Ray's feet. This referee. This referee is something else. Anyway, Ziggler. Okay, Undertaker taunt there. Okay. I mean, they're both on SmackDown. He's calling out Taker, perhaps. <laughs> Superstar figure, John. Why do we have that there? Why do we have to have John Cena ruin everything? Why do we, why do we have to have Cena just get pushed when Ziggler just won? Why? Alright, Sigler just had to do where, like a dog there, just like biting, barking. I don't even know what that was. Like an angry dog. Dolph Sigler wins the matchup. Thank you, CPU. I am enjoying this humor smells okay. So, yep, there we go. Checking it out. Okay, whatever. Yeah, I don't care. Dolph Sigler. That's one in superstars. That's nice. That's nice. Now we're going to check SmackDown, and then we shall end this off. We're going to check SmackDown match card four matches, the same like Raw. Although, in reality, it really should be five. Like it was in real life, but whatever. Cause now, yep.
All right, Ramster, he takes on Shad Gaspard, a.k.a. Shad. This is after Shad and, and JHG broke up. We'll probably make them a tag team again, just to make more tag teams. Oh, there. Uh, yeah. Kane and Dolph Ziggler. Okay, then. Christian and Chao Grell take on CM Punk and a mystery partner. Falls count anywhere. Okay, that should be good. And number one contenders matchup, Big Show, Undertaker, Jack Swagger. Whoever wins the, that matchup faces off against the World Heavyweight and Aaron Connolly Champion CM Punk. So, I'm guessing, um, so, whoever our defeats Punk in a non-title contest, or whoever the next number one contenders matchup, perhaps on the next episode of SmackDown, will be for the Aaron Connolly Championship, so Punk is gonna face off against either Swagger, Big Show, or Taker for the World Title. Taker's getting their opportunity to become a number one contender. Taker, when we simulated humorous mode, um, only, I mean, Big Show only got, yeah, it's Big Show. He, his only opportunity for the World Title was against Jack Swagger at Dragon Rights. And I know last episode I said that John Cena and Randy Orton were the only ones to win the world title. No, it was Cena. He held it for like the first four months, I think. Four, five, six, seven. I think, C yeah, Cena held it for like a while. Cena held it for a while. I think he fully lost at SummerSlam. I think Cena fully lost at SummerSlam. And then after SummerSlam, Michael held it for a whole month. And then after the next pay-per-view, the pay-per-view after SummerSlam, Michael lost it, Randy Orton, and then Randy Orton held it throughout there. The Fiat Triple H WrestleMania, blah, blah. So there we go. It was Sean Cena, then Shawn Michaels, then Randy Orton. Cena and, uh, Cena and Orton held it the most. And Sean only held it for like a couple months. So yeah, there we go. That's just how to get out of the way. That should be good. So anyway, that's it for your mode. Next up, episode 3. And it's going to be SmackDown Week 1. There we go. Thank you all for watching. Catch you on the next one. And goodbye.